Neal relaxation theory is a theory developed by Lewis Neal in 1949 to explain time-dependent magnetic phenomena known as magnetic viscosity. It is also called Neal Arrhenius theory, after the Arrhenius equation, and Neal Brown theory after a more rigorous derivation by William Fuller Brown Jr. Neal used his theory to develop a model of thermoremanent magnetization in single domain ferromagnetic minerals that explained how these minerals could reliably record the geomagnetic field. He also modeled frequency-dependent susceptibility and alternating field demagnetization. Topic: <inaudible> Superparamagnetism. Superparamagnetism occurs in ferromagnetic and ferromagnetic nanoparticles which are single domain, i.e. composed of a single magnetic domain. This is possible when their diameter is below 3 to 50 nm, depending on the materials. In this condition, it is considered that the magnetization of the nanoparticles is a single giant magnetic moment, sum of all the individual magnetic moments carried by the atoms of the nanoparticle. This is what people are working on in the subfield of superparamagnetism call macro spin approximation. Mean transition time Because of the nanoparticle's magnetic anisotropy, the magnetic moment has usually only two stable orientations antiparallel to each other, separated by an energy barrier. The stable orientations define the magnetic easy axis of the nanoparticle. At finite temperature, there is a finite probability for the magnetization to flip and reverse its direction. The mean time between two flips is called the Neal relaxation time tau n and is given by the Neal Arrhenius equation. Tau n equals tau 0 exp K V K B T display style tau underscore text n equals tau underscore zero exp left frac K V K underscore text B T right where Kv is the height of the energy barrier, a product of the magnetic anisotropy energy density K and volume 5, Kb is the Boltzmann constant, T the temperature and their product the thermal energy, and tau0 is a length of time, characteristic of the material, called the attempt time or attempt period its reciprocal is called the attempt frequency. Typical values for tau0 are between 10-9 and 10-10 seconds. The Neal relaxation time can be anywhere from a few nanoseconds to years or much longer. In particular, it is an exponential function of the grain volume, which explains why the flipping probability becomes rapidly negligible for bulk materials or large nanoparticles. Topic: Blocking temperature. Suppose that the magnetization of a single superparamagnetic nanoparticle is measured over a time tau m. If this time is much greater than the relaxation time tau n, the nanoparticle magnetization will flip several times during the measurement. In zero field, the measured magnetization will average to zero. If tau m tau n, the magnetization will not flip during the measurement, so the measured magnetization will be equal to the initial magnetization. 
In the former case, the nanoparticle will appear to be in the superparamagnetic state whereas in the latter case it will be blocked in its initial state. The state of the nanoparticle superparamagnetic or blocked depends on the measurement time. A transition between superparamagnetism and the blocked state occurs when tau m equals tau n. In several experiments, the measurement time is kept constant but the temperature is varied, so the transition between superparamagnetism and blocked state is a function of the temperature. The temperature for which tau m equals tau n is called the blocking temperature. T B equals K V K B lane tau M tau zero displaystyle T underscore text B equals FRAC K V K underscore text B lane left tau underscore text M tau underscore zero right for typical laboratory measurements, the value of the logarithm in the previous equation is in the order of 20 to 25. 